my freshman year in college. I grew up a good kid, so I thought. Graduated high school, got into college by the skin of my teeth. And there's no skin on my teeth, let's you know, never mind. Um, got into college, was on campus, had a partial academic scholarship. Somebody just loved me. I think they called it affirmative, never mind. Um, and they loved me. I got in, went, went to the athletic facility, worked out. Somebody saw me, he was like, yo, bro, how much is that you're pushing? I don't want to brag. <laughs> what, really? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just genetics. I'm Samoan, it's genetics. <laughs> oh, come to a football tryout. And he asked me to come, I got on the team, was working out, life was good. I'm in a, I'm in a D1 school, got scholarship, playing ball, I'm on a track team, I look good. No, 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Um, but, but in that moment, where I thought everything was working out good because it was all about me, God humbled me. And when he humbled me, he sent a dude my way and shared the gospel with me on campus boldly. A freshman dude came up and just told me straight out, man, I see your life, I hear how you talk, I see how you treat people. I gotta be honest, I think you may not know Jesus, and if you don't, you'll die an enemy and you'll go to hell for eternity, but you need Jesus as your savior. And initially, I was offended. I mean, he made me so mad, I shoved dude on the ground. I was like, move, little dude, you don't know me angry. I don't advise that, but nevertheless, I went to class frustrated because nobody in my life ever told me I wasn't good enough. Everybody was on my side. I just had a bunch of yes men, a bunch of amen corners. And it wasn't until he showed up that somebody gave me a dose of reality about who I really was. And God used him to put me at a place after being humbled by God's hand to help me hear the truth of the gospel. And so I stand here not because I'm some dude that raps or I'm some dude who thinks I'm tight on the mic, but because I fell in love with God because he chose me and he loved me. And so that's why I'm here. So it's a privilege, it's an honor to serve you in this time. I feel like that's what this is. I'm not some dude that you need to be fighting to reach and touch after, man. I'm a dude who wants to serve you the truth of the gospel and do it in a way God wired me to do it, and that's what this is. So thank you guys, man, for letting me do this. I appreciate it. Because I'm, at the end of the day, I'm just like you, man. I, I have to serve him in holiness and righteousness just like you, just like you. And so this next song, this last song is for me. It's my, it's my cry to God that I would never, ever, ever ignore the call of holiness you've given us as Christians. And so that's why I love to, Trust in him as I make war against sin. Let's do this. I hear so many Christians murmuring about their imperfections and their failures and their addictions and their shortcomings. And I see so many. 